بالسجن المشدد لمدة سبع سنين. A guilty verdict nearly six months in the making. The alleged crime doing their job as journalists. Al Jazeera correspondent Peter Greste, producers Mohammed Fahmi and Bahir Mohammed have been sentenced to seven years behind bars. Bahir was given an additional three years for spent cartridge found on him. There were angry reactions from the journalists. Shock and disbelief from their families. When they're away, when they're outside. Yeah. Seven years for Peter Grest, I repent Bahus, and five other six defendants present. My God. Oh. My God. Oh, Sorry. That's crazy. Finish. That's crazy. That's uh -huh. absolutely crazy. It's clearly a corrupt and fraudulent verdict. The case is politically motivated and everything is wrong with it. The response from the Australian government was swift too. This kind of verdict does nothing to support Egypt's claim to be on a transition to democracy. And the Australian government urges the new government of Egypt to reflect on what message is being sent to the world about the situation in Egypt. The Egyptian prosecution had pushed for the maximum sentences. Six other Al Jazeera journalists being tried in absentia were sentenced each to 10 years in prison. They were accused of spreading false news and aiding the Muslim Brotherhood, which the government has designated a terrorist organization. They are charges condemned and rejected by Al Jazeera. A fourth Al Jazeera journalist, Abdullah Al Shami, was released last Tuesday after spending 307 days in prison without being charged. The public prosecutor ordered his release for health reasons. Al Shami had been on a hunger strike since January. The trial of Al Jazeera journalists triggered a global outcry against media restrictions in Egypt. The newly elected president of Egypt, Abdel Fattah El Sisi, has promised to tackle the country's many issues, including free speech. The verdict today sends a clear message to both local and international media that seizes Egypt does not tolerate dissent and raises serious questions about Egypt's constitution, which guarantees freedom of the media. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera.